So here we are in the kid bathroom. We replaced the toilet, I don't know, a year or two ago. Maybe remember the uh, golf ball flush test? Well now, if you look around, the shower doors, they're looking pretty gross. The tiles looking pretty uh, out of date. There's even some shampoo bottle stickers up there. They need to come down. It's about time to replace this tile. And the boy broke the handle off the faucet the other day. We're gonna replace that. It is time to get some tools, some safety glasses, start the demolition. This is the before. And now with the custom shower handle removed, we are now getting down to the needy greedy. Time to start breaking stuff. I'm thinking maybe the soap holder first. It's pretty tough. There you go. All right, there's no turning back now. I would guess right here on the edge would be the best place to start. At that time. Update time. The good news is the tile, once you get it going, it likes to come off in sheets. What's that, a quarter of the way done? I guess we'll start over here next. Save the big wall for last. Sheets and sheets of tile later, it is all down. Just came back from the store. I've got some tile in this box, some tile in that box. Got a new faucet. Got the tile cutter. My workstation's getting a little bit crowded. Here is the tile from the uh, cleanup fairies, tile debris. Inside the walls are looking good. Spray foam looks good. Up next, it's time to change out that faucet. And now the leaky valve is officially gone. We put this in, this in, this in, screwed everything back together. Once we get the guts in here, we can turn the water back on. Hang on a second. So the cleaning fairy is back at it, getting the rust stains out. And the water does now work. No leaks. And now the next big step has been started. The cement board is going up on the walls. It was like a Dura Rock commercial. So the cement board is all up. I had just enough to finish it, and now I have taped the joints with this mesh tape. We can start tiling now. So now this is a assembly line. I buttered seven tiles. Let's make some rows. The tile project is moving along pretty good. I've got to get some bull nose before I can come out any further here or here. But we could go ahead and do the whole back wall up to the window at least. So I do not have a wet saw. I'm using this grinder blade. It's made for tile. It works really good. I find if it starts throwing sparks, I'm going too fast. I just take my time. I'll be patient. I've got my, I got my line marked here. I've got a fan blowing the dust away from me. I got my eye protection, my ear protection, and of course a dust mask. Let me show you the process. 
I've got this tile, it was broken at the factory, and that's almost exactly right. I'm going to cut off a little bit more over here in the vise. I've got to cut off about that much of this one. I've got a piece of wood holding it, it's just barely in there. I'll show you how easy this thing cuts. And then here are the two pieces we just cut. Time to glue them on. So now we got two six inch pieces. One will go here, then some bull nose, and the other goes here. Now if you're wondering, I use this pre-mixed tile adhesive. It saves time, maybe a little more expensive, but I don't have to mix the mud. So I just squish it back and forth into place when it gets about right. Put these little spacers in. Move on to the next one. I'm using eighth inch, eighth inch spacers. And make sure your corner joints are all lined up. Keep on running. The towel, we've made it up to the window and a little beyond. It's about to start turning gray. From here on up, this color. They're slightly smaller, so the uh, joints aren't going to line up. But who cares? Who's going to even notice unless I mention it? And so here it is, the accent color has been done and I've started back with the white. We've got four rows of gray. And now we'll go to the ceiling with the white. So when I first started, little tip, I was putting the tile adhesive on the wall. Now I am putting it on the back of the tile. This is called buttering the tile. We're right here in the bathroom and good news, I just put the last piece of the puzzle in. I got that top row all done. If we come down to the bottom, I've got to fix that corner next to the tub. So you can see what happened last night. I ran the tile and the bull nose down to the floor. This side's finished, ready for grout. But if we pan over to the other side, this almost feels like phase two. I'm gonna pull the toilet out, 
put in some cement board and I'll run the tile over to the vanity area. Somewhere in this area I'm going to stop. We're getting new countertop with new sink, but we don't have it yet. But I've got to do this so I can start the grouting so we can start using the tub again. And so now a few minutes later the toilet is out and up next this wall, the sheetrock comes off. Here it is, the drywall is removed. I'm going to put this nailer in. Go cut the cement board, screw it on. It's time to start tiling. Well, clean up first. The nailer boards are now in place. I'll go cut the uh, cement board. So I've got my cement board cut and I just drilled the hole for the toilet valve. I think it's going to work out. Time to screw it on. So the cement board is now all screwed in place. I've got the mesh tape on the joints. Time to break out the mud. So I just came back from the grinder. I cut this bull nose on a 45, that bull nose on a 45. Now I can start going this way and start going up. So now my tiling has stopped. I ran out of adhesive. Over here we've got about two rows left and a little piece to put down. Up here I had to stop until we get the new countertop. There'll be a piece of tile and two pieces of bull nose. As far as the rest of the bull nose, it is all up. And maybe tomorrow we can do a little grouting. So it's now time to start grouting. In the bucket I've got 54 ounces of water and that's supposed to go with 10 pounds of powder. Here goes the powder. Seven thirty. We let it sit for five minutes, and then we start again. Seven thirty-five. It's time to start mixing again. So now all the grout has been cleaned up. You take the sponge, you wipe it down. I didn't get much on video of cleaning it. I was too busy cleaning it in the video. I'll try to get some more next time. I've got to go above that gray line all the way to the ceiling. So that makes it about two thirds of the way done. And then tomorrow we should be putting the toilet back in. I'll show you that tomorrow. The tile is all finished. Everything's been grouted. Toilet's back in. For phase two, we're getting a new countertop coming soon. Uh, the paint has already started. You can see some blue trim going on. Uh, there was some green faux finish that was behind the mirror. There's been lots of colors in this bathroom. Last night we picked up a new light fixture. On this wall, the tile rack, nobody uses it. It's going away. There was a set of hooks here. That's going away. This will be smoothed down. And yes, the toilet does work. And then I take my finger and just smooth it out. And then the light fixture, if you take a close look, it's rustic. It's actually rust. This is the second one that's been in here. Maybe the new one will have better luck. Light fixture update, I went ahead and sanded the area. I've got the wires hooked up. Up next, we're gonna bolt it in place.
So the light fixture is completely in. I've got some Edison style light bulbs, LED. Let me turn them on for you. I like them. There's a little bit of paint left to do. It's mostly done. And if we come around to the countertop, that'll be part two. Here on the towel rack side, it's gone. The blue is on. There's been some hangings. Two little spots and we're done. And now with the caulk that matches the grout, we're gonna go down this one line here. So one of the last steps from the bathroom, I've gotta sweat this little piece on. Once it's on, then we screw on the downspout. That's coming up next. So I just smeared some flux on the pipe. So this was my first attempt ever at sweating pipe together. I liked it, it was fun. I need to do it some more. But for now, I gotta get the downspout on. There's the O ring. The rest just screws right on. With the downspout on, it is now time to try out the shower. 